which is operating my pump that is in my dirty water here, which is sucking up the cooler water to keep this cool. Hello, thank you for visiting us today. My name is Frank Mendez with waterdistillers.com and I'm really excited about showing you one of our products. In this video, Rich and Jen are going to show how to set up the enhanced kit using the pump. Couple things to note, you do not use the small lid when you're running it as a distiller. We need evaporative cooling, that's how the system works. This pot, heat from the steam is rising up, hitting the bottom of this pot, dripping into our collection plate and then out through the stainless steel tube. This pot is going to get the heat transferred to it and this is going to start to evaporate. You're going to start seeing steam rise off of this eventually. That's how the system cools. If we were to put this lid on here and clamp this down, system can't cool anymore. You're going to run it for about a half an hour and the system's going to overheat and you're going to get nothing but steam out of that hose. So do not use this lid when you're running it as a distiller. You only use that lid when you're going to use it as a, as a gravity filter. Now we're going to show you, now uh, because we have this extra tube, I just want to show you, you can use this as an output tube or you can use this as a drain. I sometimes will hook it up to this valve or this valve to drain the system so that I can clean it because, you know, once you shut this down, it's still full of water. So that's the easiest way to do this. Um, obviously, once it's cooled off is just hook up the hose to these valves. They're tapered. Open the valve, drain it into your sink, drain, mm -hmm. wherever you want to drain the, uh, the water. That way you can tear the system down and clean it occasionally uh, in between uses so that you can clean the scale mm -hmm. out of this boiling pot. All right, next I want to go over, we're going to set this aside for just a moment here, and we're going to go over the Enhance. The Enhance system comes in a little box like this. And uh, what that allows you to do is actually transfer water from an external source. Let's say you have a hot tub for a pool, or you're transferring, transporting water from uh, the ocean. You want to desalinate with this, which you can desalinate ocean water. Say you want to desalinate, then you're going to transport water from the ocean to wherever you've set up to run this. Well, most people just simply use a little bucket, a five-gallon bucket or a bucket this size. I think these are three and a half gallons. So we would set this bucket up. We're bringing water from uh, whatever water source we're transferring to. And we're going to set up our system. Now, in the Enhanced, it comes with a USB-powered solar panel, which you do not have to use. You can use any USB-powered device, so like a cell phone, uh, a cell phone device, cell phone charger, uh, little solar chargers, any power source that outputs USB. You could use a laptop. Plug in the pump to the laptop USB and that'll run. Inside the kit is also a drain back tube, which that I'll show you how that gets installed. Um, we have an air pump with a Schrader valve. And this little air pump is USB powered, once again. So that can be powered uh, in, in an emergency by plugging it right into our solar panel and setting this out in the sun. If I can turn it this way, there we go. And then this is what we would be using to connect up to our small, uh, our Schrader valve here in a little bit to show you how we would use it under the high speed mode. Inside here, there's gonna be uh, roughly 10, 11 feet of silicone tubing with a stainless steel fitting and a pump. So I'll show you how that gets set up. <clears throat> we'll open that up. So here's our USB pump. And take the little wire nut off. And there we go. This is a submersible pump. It has a little screen. Um, you don't have to use the screen if you don't want to. But uh, we're going to go ahead and set that up in there. And we're going to drop that into our bucket like we would be transferring water from some source into the gravity tank. And then this discharge tube would hang right on the side of the, of the unit. Inside here, the last part of the, or last part of the kit is the drain back tube. 
Now, this is where we need this other fitting. So I'll show you here in a moment. We're gonna set this up. <coughs> and this is actually gonna connect up to here. But first, we're going to need to make a small modification. Inside our pot, there's a stainless steel nut on the back of this. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see here. So I'm gonna take this valve off. And this is all in the instructions on how to set this up. We're gonna take that little stainless steel nut off. <clears throat> we're, gonna, we're gonna reuse that little stainless steel washer. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread it onto this. So now I'm gonna put that washer back on there. And we're gonna hook up the little fitting. Now, when you're doing this, you obviously won't be able to turn this part, so you're going to have to turn the valve to tighten the system down. So, just keep on turning and turning until we get it pretty tight, and then we're going to rest right about there. So now, if you can see inside there, what that's allowing us to do is have the water that's pumping into the system come up to that level before it drains back into our, our catchment. So I'm going to set this up here, back onto the system. We're going to open this valve, and we're going to connect up our drain back tube. Just like that. And you're going to push it on there a little ways just to make sure that it uh, doesn't come off. And then this hose, This hose is going to go back into the water that you're pumping. So now what's going to happen is this. We're going to hook up our soap. We're running this outside, let's say. We're running it outside on a, uh, a propane burner. We're going to plug in our solar panel. We're going to set this in the sun. This tiny little micro pump is going to start pumping the water from here and outputting the water into the pot. Once the water raises to that little fitting, it's going to drain back into the pot, into the, the, you know, your catchment again. So we're always keeping water flowing and moving, so we don't have to manually fill this anymore. It's automatically going to fill the system. Now there's a couple things you're going to have to look for. This is going to be drained by gravity. We're pumping by electricity, by the solar panels or by USB or something. So when we're doing that, we have to make sure this drain is going to be low enough so that it drains fast enough or faster than the pump is pumping in the system. If you don't do that, you can overflow or overrun this. If this was only draining back, because you know here's the drain on the valve, we have our fitting here. So that is the water level. So we can't have the output be here. It would never drain. We have to have this down low. So typically we'll take the container and set it on the ground. We need at least a three foot difference, give or take from here to wherever our, we're pumping the water from so that this will drain fast enough or faster than the water is being pumped into the system. So that's something that some people make mistakes about. You'll only do it once. Uh, when you do it, because uh, you'll notice right away that the water is overflowing. So that's how we set up the enhanced system. Now, what are the benefits to the enhanced system? The enhanced system, once this pot gets to a certain temperature, the water is being pumped back into your other catchment. So I could set up a 55-gallon drum here and never have to change my water and just keep the system very cool so our output's the highest. With the enhanced system, we have gotten up to about a, a gallon per hour of output when we have a cool water source. As this pot, the condenser pot, gets warmer and warmer, more steam is going to come out of this tube and water production is going to drop a little bit. But we still average, even with the standard Gravistil, 8 to 10 cups an hour on average. A little higher in some areas. It all depends on atmospheric pressure and all these things play into it and how fast you're boiling the, the boiling chamber. 
This is a manual distilling system. It is not uh, push a button and walk away and forget about it. You cannot do that with these, but these systems do make water very quickly. The, uh, you know, simple electric water distillers that are on the market um, that you can buy on various websites, uh, they use 750 to 1,000 watts of electricity and they produce one gallon of water every five hours. So let's do the math. This thing can run on a 10,000 BTU gas burner or propane or wood and we're making eight to 10 cups of water an hour without the enhanced and up to a gallon per hour with the enhanced. Now it requires a little bit of input from us because we gotta watch it and make sure that it's actually filling and doing what it needs to do, but we can make water five times faster with this system than we can with an electric distiller and at one tenth the cost. A thousand watts for these electric distillers is one kilowatt. Well, one kilowatt costs 12 cents and you need five hours to run it. So one gallon of water from an electric distiller costs you anywhere from five, 50 cents to 60 cents to make a gallon of water. With this system, we can make a gallon of water on, on natural gas for less than five cents. So it's a very, very economical way to make distilled water. One other thing I wanted to touch on with a lot of troubleshooting that people have uh, asked about um, is that once you receive the system, we make it here in Burlington, Wisconsin. All the stuff is assembled, drilled, built, bent. We have mandrels. We do everything here. You need to wash them. Wash it with soapy water. Clean everything up before you assemble it and start making water with it. Um, that's just common sense, but uh, believe it or not, we've had a lot of people that have had issues with, uh, with not doing that and saying that, uh, well, what's this uh, grease on it or whatever? Well, we use cutting oil to cut metal. That's just a fact. That's how things work. Here, which is operating my pump that is in my dirty water here, which is sucking up the cooler water to keep this cool. But um, anyway, so let's now uh, tear the system down, show you what you're going to need to look for when you're going to clean the system, and also we'll convert it from the distilling system into the gravity filter system. On the enhanced system, we include this. This is actually a miniature USB-powered air pump with a Schrader on it. So now, in the enhanced system, if you don't want to pump it, if you put this on here, you can actually pull this off to thread it on there faster. So we thread that on there. We hook up our little hose there. I like to use the little carabiner that comes with it to actually hook it right around the stem, just like that. And then, if we were camping or you know, somewhere where we uh, have USB power, it could be the solar panel, it could be your USB power unit for your cell phone, once again, your laptop, uh, USB battery banks, all of those, you're gonna plug that right into the panel. Then this little pump is gonna turn on and put air pressure in this top container and we'll clear this container out in about a half an hour, even less. Okay, I don't wanna wait around for gravity to, to do its job, so I'm going to make this the enhanced option. So I'm gonna grab my solar panel and my USB pump. I'm gonna pull this out quick. Open that up. Put in the sun here. And then grab the pump. You're gonna wanna hook that up, screw that in. And then plug this right into your solar port panel down here. You will know it's running with the red light. It was on earlier. I just covered it up so it turned off. But I will check back in with you in a couple minutes when that starts going. You can 
actually, yeah, I can feel the pump going. I can't really hear it so quiet, but I can feel it vibrating, so you know it's on. And yeah, I'll check back in with you. doing about a 30 minute check-in. I had to scoop my thing down. You want to make sure that it's in direct sunlight at all times for it to run the most efficient. But let me lift this up. You can see it coming out pretty well there. So you can easily make, you know, four to five gallons of water an hour using this small pump to accelerate the production. You're going to love this system. It is part of the multi-purpose emergency water distiller, which we have. Thank you very much. Please give us a call at 612-701-7820. If you have any questions, we would love to hear from you. My name is Frank Mendez with WaterDistillers.com.